Hello and welcome to my big PP tower. Today I'm going to show you how to build a hopper line and use it to connect all of your automatic farms to your automatic sorting system. Say hi to the turtle over here. Hi turtle. I'm going to use my hopper line to connect my automatic kelp farm, the sugarcane farm here, the pumpkin and melon farm, my iron golem farm, all to my automatic item sorting system right there. That way I will never have to go and pick up items from these chests and move them into my sorting system. For a big hopper line, all you're really going to need is a bunch of hoppers. I'm going to use some deep slate brick in order to mark out my hopper line. And maybe you'll need some treasure chests. I've also got a bunch of stone bricks here. Eventually my whole floor is going to be stone bricks. Let's get started. When you're creating a hopper line, the first thing you want to do is pick your end point. Your end point is where you want all of your items to end up after your hoppers transport them. In order to place your hopper line, crouch down, so press shift, because shift clicking is the most important thing in Minecraft, and place your hopper. Once your hopper is placed, make sure the hopper is facing into the chest so that your items go where you want them to. So I'm going to place these stones, and look at that, the stones went into the chest. Amazing. Now, hoppers can turn direction. If I place this hopper inside the hopper, it will also deliver the hopper to the chest. Hoppers can also deliver items downward. So I'm going to put these two hoppers in the hopper and they will end up in the chest as well. And that is everything you need to know about how to make a hopper line. So I'm going to go ahead and construct mine and connect all of my farms to my hopper line. So this one is going to be super easy. This is the entrance chest to my item elevator. My item elevator connects to my item sorter here. So we're going to build the hopper line starting at this chest right here. Now that my automatic item sorting system and elevator are set up, I don't really need this treasure chest with all of this stuff in it anymore. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it and connect this hopper that goes into the treasure chest directly into my hopper line. Okay, now they're connected. Now I can just put all these items into the item sorting system and worry about it later. Alright, so we can test out if it's working now. Check this chest first. Okay, the iron is moving through and the droppers. Perfect. Look at that, the iron's building up. Now let's get to the other farms. Here we have the automatic sugarcane farm. I'm going to throw all the sugarcane into the hoppers. All that should be going to the item sorter now. I'm going to connect this farm directly to the hopper line. Okay, there we are, it's connected. All right, I'm going to connect this chest directly to the hopper line. And once it empties out, then I will get rid of it. All right, that's connected. And I just need one on top of here. And there it is. So I'm going to throw some dirt in here. See if the dirt's moving through here. Oh, not through there. Okay, it looks like the dirt is stuck because these items are going through first. And afterwards, the dirt will move into the sorting system. Okay, at the back of that sugarcane farm, there's another sugarcane farm. So I'll connect this one. And over here, we have a kelp farm. Fill this area back in. And look at that, the kelp is filtering through. So I'm just going to check the lines and make sure everything is moving. Looks like the kelp is making it into the main line here. I'm going to test this one out. I'm going to throw some stone bricks in there and see if they're moving through here. 
Okay, the stone bricks are going through. The iron has finished transferring, and now we're on to melons. That's what the hopper line looks like from above. Pretty ugly, and I really gutted my entire area here. But that's it, that's how it works. Sewers aren't pretty either, and you can kind of think about this as an item sewer. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all up. Okay, it looks like this chest is empty, and that chest is emptying out. I'm gonna put deep slate bricks over my entire hopper line so that when I'm doing work on my world, I know exactly where the hopper line is. And if I need to connect more farms to it, it's going to be easy to find. Or if I'm going to build something that might go through it, I know not to build there or I'll have to figure out how to build around it. Okay, there we have it. The hopper line is now marked by these deep slate tiles, starting at the automatic item sorter, going to the iron farm, and then to all of the other farms over here. As you can see by the blinking lights, the item elevator is transferring the items from the farms all the way over to the item sorter. The next thing we're gonna do here is connect the hopper line to a deposit chest. So this is gonna be a chest where I can just go and deposit a bunch of items and they will be sorted in the item sorter so I don't have to worry about putting them in the individual chests on my own. So let's test out if this works. I'm going to throw this jack-o'-lantern in, and since I have no space for them in my item sorter, they should go into the extras bin over here. There it is. So the jack-o'-lantern is here. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and have a great day.